Investors' optimism is that the Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates is breathing new life into the market or junk debt providing timely relief to the lowest rated companies and likely capping the rate of defaults in 2020. Or, you know, historically, we've seen that when the Fed lower rate, shortly after that, we go into a correction, a recession. What do the feds know? What data did Jerome Powell and his board have that they decided to start lowering rates? We're all excited about rates getting lowered. I'm excited as I'm a real estate guy and in the real estate business, super excited. I think it's good for real estate, but what's to come if history continues to repeat itself and we're expected for unemployment to spike. And when unemployment spikes, the American people hurt, the working class, middle America starts to hurt and businesses and small businesses hurt. So what's the trade off, right? Lower rates, go on employment. We'll have to wait and see what 2024 has in store for us. As the U.S. central bank started to raise rates in 2022 and worries about defaults grew, companies rated below investment grades saw a tepid demand from investors of their new loans and bonds. Many such companies turned to roundabout ways to raise money to get ahead of a $300 billion wall of bond and loan maturities in the next two years. In the last few months, however, yields have fallen as investors bet the Fed, emboldened by its progress in slowing a surge in prices that push inflation to a 40-year highs last year, will soon start cutting rates. Markets are now pricing the U.S. Central Bank's key policy rate to fall as much as 1.5% percentage points below the current 5.25 to 5.5 range by the end of next year. Expectations of such pivot had led to a resurgence in demand of high yield. In December, insurance brokerages USI Inc., a company rated deep in junk territory, became the first borrower in its category to tap the primary market since April, according to data provided in Forma Global Market. 